Welcome, geeks, to New Code World. What I want to talk about today is uh, a warning to companies out there putting out new versions of software. Uh, please, please listen to your users. And here is why. You know, I don't care about a new look and feel. I don't care about new themes. I don't care about white or dark, you know, themes. I don't care about new icons, right? You know, when I look forward to a new, uh, to a new version of a program coming out, those are things that never, never reach my mind. What I want is for features that are currently not working correctly or not working at all uh, to be fixed. And I want new features that makes my life better uh, with whatever I'm doing with your application. I want to share a story about a company I was working at over 10 years ago. When I started the company, what they were doing was they changed the name of an older program and they were changing the look and feel, you know, the, the, the colors in the application and things like that. And uh, not really adding the features that the, the users wanted. And I kind of called this uh, shining up the turd. And that's what I used to refer it as to because that's what I felt they were doing. But it wasn't the new program. It was still the same crappy program underneath. You know, the number one complaint when I worked at this company about this application that I worked on was the workflow. The workflow was too hard to understand and it was too difficult to get through for the users to get done what they needed to get done in the application. But do you think they worked on this? No, <laughs> they worked on the look and feel and changing the name. And, and we did add a, a, a couple new features. I added a one feature that uh, the people who purchased our application really, really wanted. But other than that, we really didn't make the program better. And I think most users, when they're looking forward to a new version of the program, it's going to be a better program, not the old same <laughs> crappy program. So I went to the managers and I said, we can't release this application because the performance has gotten so bad that we're going to lose customers. And after we released you know, we released the new shiny turd. Um, that's exactly what happened. We started losing customers be a lot because of the performance, but we really didn't change the old crappy program. We just made it look new. The reason I came up with this new code rules for this week is there are some new apps coming out soon, including Windows 11, uh, that this is what I feel they're doing. And I feel this because this is what I've been seeing on social media. You know, the tweets that I've seen about these two applications are all about the look and feel. Like in Windows 11, you know, we have new background art, we have new startup sound, we have rounded corners, you know, we have, a, <laughs> we have snap controls. And, and to me, that's not even a single feature I care about. So here's a, a, a quick list of some, some of the things that I want in Windows 11. I want paste text as default. Oh my gosh, this drives me crazy when I'm writing um, either in blogs or Word or even or even PowerPoint. Everything goes in as formatted. I don't want it formatted. I just want it going in plain text to take the format of whatever theme I have set up in that application and just do it. But that's there's no way to change that that I'm aware of in Windows. And I'm not the only one. I see a lot of people complaining about this on Twitter. I want OneDrive to work properly. OneDrive is continuously breaking on me and even not working for weeks and I don't even know it. I want file search to work properly and not take hours to complete. I want to be safer from hackers. I want to focus on performance, especially if I've had a machine for a while, like the one I'm recording this video on. I want Office, all of Office products that join the 21st century. I don't think Office has really dr dramatically changed in the last 20 years. And performance, performance, performance. I want better in performance so I can get my work done faster. And if you follow me Twitter, you probably are going to guess what's the next app I'm going to complain about. You've got it. Visual Studio 2019. I wrote an article a while ago of all the things in Visual Studio 19 that I've been keeping track of. Here's here's a list of some just some of the things I'm going to try to read them really quick um, that are from this article and a couple other uh, ones I threw in there. Uh, calculating code metrics is broken. Uh, code analysis for .NET Core and .NET 5 is very confusing. NuGet hell. Auto increment package version keeping in sync with file version. Click once is severely broken, severely broken. Loading takes too long. Creating service references is broken. Not all build settings are surfaced within um, Visual Studio. 
IntelliTest is broken for .NET Core and .NET 5. And there's a lot of people that want this. And I've not heard that this is being in the new version of .NET 6. This one really drives me crazy. I have to start live unit testing twice to get it to work, right? And even sometimes while I'm using it, it just decides to stop. And then I have to st I have to stop the live unit testing. I have to start it up twice again to get it to start. Sometimes it breaks so bad I have to reboot Visual Studio and or my machine to get it to work again. But I have quickly tested this in 2022 and it looks like they fixed this one. Documentation just gets worse and worse, including not documenting the .NET source code properly. Object have you used the object viewer in Visual Studio lately? Oh my gosh. It is so slow. You know, I can keep going, but I think uh, uh, you get the picture. And while I was working on this new code rules, I was thinking, you know, Microsoft, you know, for Windows and Visual Studio, do you have the majority of your users asking for color changes and new icons and things and rounded corners? Really? Do you, is that what the users are complaining about? I would love to see those. Right, because I don't believe the users probably even said anything about this, except for maybe accessibility problems. Here's my call to action for this new code rules. Listen to your users before working on new features. It's just that simple. I know you want to sell new product, but you know, you need to make your users happy. Because you know, fixing issues and making productivity better in your application will sell more products. And along with this, you know, a cool new looking product or even one with a new product name, you know, uh, will attract new customers. I, I, you know, I can see that, but it won't keep them because even if you have the best looking application in the world, if the users start using it like the company I see you used to work for, they're going to leave and go to a competitor. There's so many competitors on the market, there's no reason to stay with a program that doesn't work for you. Also, and I kind of feel this is what's happening uh, in the background with Visual Studio, you know, you need to work harder with users to reproduce issues. You know, a lot of the issues that I've submitted that are from that article, they just close them out because they can't repeat them. They don't really work with me. The issues aren't going away because you closed the ticket. They're still there and they're still upsetting people. Well, that's about it for this new code rules. I really want to know your thoughts and what you think about this topic. So what are your thoughts on this issue? Please, please email me at rockinacodeworld at csharpcorner.com. And if you want to look at any of the old episodes of new code rules, you can go to that link there. And with that, I'll see you next time on New Code Rules.